Hey guys, good day, here is Dora from the Netherlands. First of all, I wish you all a very happy and healthy 2023. I hope everyone is doing just great. Now, I came today with a video which I wanted to really capture for weeks, but I was traveling a lot in December and there were some other priorities, also some exams. So that's why it's a little bit late. But this is one of the videos I really love to watch also by other YouTubers. And that's the running shoe of the year type of video. Now, as you might know, of course, I'm not sponsored by any companies. Also, these reviews will be totally free on that way because, yeah, it's just my own opinion, of course. Uh, and I'm not receiving any shoes from any companies. It means also that I cannot test like uh, dozens of shoes because, of course, it's my private uh, cost. I tested five shoes uh, last year. Uh, also because I was focusing on swimming, so my running kilometers were not uh, so much as usual. I did uh, no long distance triathlons, I did no marathons, I did not run even a half marathon. So that's why also uh, I didn't need so many new shoes in my collection. Four out of these five shoes were really daily trainers, because mentioned I was not racing, I didn't need any new race shoes. Though the year I started with a new racing shoe, because I was super interested in this one, and that's already a year ago, that's the Nike Zoom uh, Streak Fly, the proto version of it. And I have used for a few trainings, but I didn't compete at any 5 or 10 kilometer races, not a half marathon, where this would be really the sweet spot for this one. So I just did some tempo runs in the shoe. I really hope that in autumn 2023, I will be restarting running races. And definitely for short running races, I think that would be my uh, favorite because it's super lightweight and yeah, it just goes for that uh, pace. Uh, but because of that, I would have not felt fair to put in the top three this shoe for this year because I don't have really the race experience in the shoe. Now, the other four shoes are, as mentioned, daily trainers. And three out of these four are upgrades. Now, this was my least favorite. This is why it came only to the fourth place, of course. Uh, I did love the original Turbo. I am still using it if I'm uh, staying at my parents in Hungary. Uh, this is not a bad shoe, but it's much heavier. Uh, this recyclable material is also a so so. I was not a big fan of it, uh, but it's okay for the winter kilometers. I'm planning also to do a run, uh, for example, tomorrow, and I will be maybe using this shoe. It is a bit heavy and it's not so braceable than the original was. So, yeah, mixed opinions on my side as well. I would have preferred a better comparing shoe to the original Turbo. I did try a new running shoe company in 2022, and that was on running a Swiss company. And you can also see the full reviews. I will put all the links uh, above. Uh, you can uh, flash it there. So I'm not uh, mentioning all the details here, of course. This became third for me last year's ranking. And this was a nice surprise. I really like this shoe. Also a drain trainer, medium weight, uh, but it does the job. It is really a workhorse. Nothing super surprising, but it can go for the pace as well. And it's really a trustable good shoe, as you can expect also from a Swiss company, to be honest. This is the Cloud Monster, which was new, of course, in 2022. Fully, it's not an upgrade. Uh, it came also with a price about 160 euros, I believe. So it's also not a cheap shoe. But the prices you can see for the running shoes really, really going with the inflation. One negative I have to mention here as well, that's sizing. I really had to size up with the half uh, size. So normally my size is 40.5 and this is a 41. The 40.5 would have been really, really too small. The second place for last year goes to a New Balance shoe. And that's one of my favorite training shoes ever. I have run my marathon personal best also many years ago in the version 6 of this shoe and that's the New Balance 1080. This year it was of course version 12 and uh, it is a very special shoe really close to my heart because I restarted my running in March with this shoe and when I also look, have a look at the shoe, I always get uh, positive vibes from this. Uh, really trustable as well, just like the old running shoes, but it's a better breathable shoe, I have to say. The downside is definitely the weight. So it comes approximately in 270 grams in my size, which is definitely heavy for a daily trainer. So if I would improve anything for this shoe in 2023, 
that would be definitely the weight. It's comfortable. It also goes for the mileage. Absolutely, I can recommend for marathon trainings. Originally, it did retail for 180 euros. Um, you can find now in a sales, of course, uh, around 110, 120 euros even. And I believe as well, the original price went up to 190 uh, around the autumn here in the uh, Netherlands. So that's why I was also mentioning that the inflation is there. The shoes are getting really just more expensive. Which brings us to the winner of last year. Yes, we have a winner and that's the Ashix Trinusa 14. I have been lucky to run in many predecessors of this shoe. Of course, it's a bit of triathlon branding, though the triathlon is going really less in this shoe, less features for triathletes. But still, it's a very great tempo uh, daily trainer. You can also go definitely for a triathlon race, uh, definitely a sprint or Olympic distance. You can still see people racing with this shoe. And I would be definitely happy to race this shoe uh, next year as well. It is lightweight. You can really take it out for tempo days. As mentioned also, a shorter distance. Uh, I would not go for the marathon because the cushioning is not the same as, for example, in Nike Vaporfly version 2. But the weight, the weight is really similar. It's in my size around uh, between 180 and 190 grams, which is absolutely great as a daily trainer on the tempo side, on the lighter weight tempo side of the daily trainers. Um, so this is really the best upgrade I had this year and that's why it became the top one for 2022. Really, really great job Essex and I think that I haven't had any Essex in the top three for many years. I have been also running in the version 13 uh, in 2021 which is also a good shoe, but I definitely prefer the version 14. I think the biggest advantage for the 14 is that for the 13, you really had that feel that you are uh, falling off the cliff. And here, this is much more a natural uh, glide in this shoe. The cushioning of the version 14 is definitely also better. And this was my review for 2022 for the running shoes. Let me know in the comment box below what was your favorite shoe uh, last year. How many kilometers did you run in the shoe? Thank you very much for watching until the end. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I really hope that we will have a great year together in 2023 on YouTube. Take care. Bye.